Grime Boy and Vendroma from Adventures in Block Space, uh, and today we've got a slightly different video. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have got the Minecraft Beta 1.8 pre-release copy. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go through uh, as many of the features as we can in this video, and um, just show off the new features. Uh, obviously, this is pre-release. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how many bugs there are there the rumor probably is that it's quite a few isn't there yeah the, the rumor going around is that this is the uh pre-release version before jeb or notch have, inter in, have implemented any bug fixes so Ooh. the idea was that <laughs> instead of spending the first fortnight after its real release fixing bugs um ala 1.7.18 whatever this made we got up to Mm. Um, instead, what's going to happen is uh, they released it to uh, a few people to do bug testing on first, and uh, when Jeb tweeted that link, he tweeted it publicly instead of just to the developers that they trust to beta test it. Uh, so everyone's now got access to the beta of the beta. So we're kind of guinea right. pigs, in a sense. We're all kind of guinea pigs in this sort of test. It yeah. should be interesting to see. So, uh, we're going to do, I'll show you the single player screen first, um, I'll go down to create a new world. So, uh, you've got, as usual, the world name, um, and then, uh, and that obviously uh, changes where how it's saved, uh, so it changes the folder that it's saved in. Um, and then underneath that we've got this button for either survival or creative. Uh, now in survival, um, it's the usual Minecraft we know and love, with the addition of new um, mobs, so that's silverfish and uh, endersman. It's also got a description oh, underneath the, it as well. And the spiders it. as well. Um, oh yes, mini new, spiders, little mini ones. Spiders. I think they probably fit through a one by one block, so no yeah. more being able to do um, spider traps using um, cactus. But I think as well, I think they only appear in dungeons, I'm not sure if that was a yeah, stipulation that's, of that's where they I live. I think well. it's just dungeons. Right. Uh, so with this one, uh, that's got all the new goodies. So you gain experience points at the moment. Uh, experience points aren't spent on anything. You just uh, accrue them. Um, well, I'm trying to think of what you could. What could we spend it on in Minecraft if we're yeah, I'm, gathering I'm, resources and things? Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering we... if it's like um, faster mining or uh, well, like maybe... specialty items. I, I don't think so, because uh, you craft your specialty items, don't you? Whereas experience points would be your character's attributes, so maybe increased speed. Um, ah, so what, being able to run faster, jump longer, maybe something like that. Yeah, or, maybe, maybe stuff like that. Harder, better, or faster, Or food stronger. lasts longer or something. Yeah. Um, and then the other version that there is, is creative. Uh, and this one gives you unlimited resources, uh, free flying, and you can destroy blocks instantly. Which is um, such a good thing. I cannot tell you how good thing that is. I'm sick to death of sitting there punching obsidian for five hours. Uh, so, uh, then underneath we've got the seed generator as usual. Um, now, a lot of people said that the seed generator, the, the way the world forms, is really very different now. Notch has implemented really new code. Uh, so, people were saying that the seed generator uh, is... Uh, the, the old seeds won't work, but as I'll show you in a single player world in a minute, um, don't worry, we'll do multiplayer in a second, then you can see Vendroma's lovely face. Yay! Um, I used uh, Martin in the Littlewood seed, uh, which is 101, 101, 01, and he likes that seed, and a load of other people like that seed because it does some awesome columns and things. Uh, and as I'll show you when I show you the world, uh, those are actually in there as well. So, um, I'm not sure if Notch has changed it a huge amount in as much that the old seeds do still look like what they looked like, if that made any sense at all. So, not we'll really. go back to uh, a fresh start. Uh, as I said, the seed for this one is uh, 101, 101, which is uh, in the Littlewoods' favourite seed. Uh, so, we're going to play this. This is uh, creative mode, and I've just fallen through the sky. So, uh, in creative mode, uh, you can place blocks, press E for inventory, and it's got all the blocks that exist in the entire world. Uh, flicking through this list, uh, there's a couple of new things. 
Um, so, the stuff up the top here, there isn't any, really anything new. Although, uh, Sponge is now available. Sponge? Yeah, which is interesting. Uh, oh, and you can place Bedrock. Goodness me. I wonder if you can... Um, lost. I wonder if you can place and then break Bedrock. Trees look Ooh, much nicer. You can place Bedrock. Yeah, so the tree, trees, well, we'll go through the rest of the stuff in a second. I'll just do the creative mode stuff first. So in creative mode, you can place bro blocks. I'm currently building out bedrock. And then it's just a single click to destroy them completely and instantly. Uh, you double tap to enable flying. Um, it's space to ascend and shift to descend. Uh, here's the, um, the arches from the 10101. 101, 101, 01 seed, uh, and they look very similar to the ones from Minecraft 1.6, uh, so it could be that these seeds will continue to work nicely. Um, I just found a really awesome cave. That's interesting. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what else I can show you in creative mode. Uh, obviously in creative mode, uh, you can see above the bottom bar there, there is, you don't have any health. Uh, and the hunger bar isn't there, and you don't accrue any XP. Um, because, shut up cow. Um, because you can't die in creative mode. Uh, although you can fall through the bottom of the world in the bedrock. Hmm, um, that could be a bit of a problem. So, so I'm not sure what happens then. Notch was aware of it, he did tweet about it. Uh, so I'm not sure what happens when you do fall through the, the bedrock. Um, I'm also not entirely sure how Notch managed to change from night to day in creative mode. I did try and look the command up, um, but no one seems to know what it is. Um, otherwise, I'd, I'd show off some of the dynamic lighting. So, uh, that's enough for creative mode. Uh, with the server, with multiplayer, uh, I think you can only do... Um, survival mode at the moment, which is what we're going to show off, um, but it could be. Oh, that's cool. Uh, shifting all the way down to the ground uh, switches you back to walking mode, oh. so you don't have to double tap and fall out of the sky. That's yeah, not it's right. okay. quite annoying. So we'll, um, <coughs> we'll go over to into multiplayer now. So uh, this is the new multiplayer screen. Uh, as you can see, you can now add servers. Um, in my case, of course, I'm running it on the same box that I'm playing on, so mine would be local host. Um, but obviously you put the server name in there and the server address in there. That, that's really useful because it just means if you play on multiple servers uh, or you run your own server and play on a public server like I do, <coughs> you can um, obviously save them so you don't have to keep looking up the IP addresses. So I'm going to direct connect to local host. Are you logging in, Vendroma? Yeah, I'm just about to join the server now. Is it all up and running? Oh crap, it's dark in the server. There's oh, whoa. Quite a bit of lag. Ah, there he is. Oh, the one in the water. No, go away, piggy. Wait, bye, piggy. Bring a tank bag. Okay, really so, uh, I got a bit of lag to begin with, but uh, now you can see that everything is sorted again. I think I'd better get some would before yeah, we better arm ourselves, I think. Oh, we're not ops. Drat. Um, um, okay. Um, um, um. Uh, let me go and edit the uh, file. Uh, I will be back in a... Woohoo! Okay, I'm back in and it appears... Sunshine. Hey! Hello! Oh yeah, right. I need some wood. So... Uh, Yep, there we go. That's cool. I think we need to get some tools. Just chopping down some wood with my fists. Nothing unusual about it. Hmm. I just realised it's going to be quite difficult to get okay. wood, all of the wood from a tree, because he's changed some of the dynamics of them, which is quite. They are huge. Come here, stupid bit of wood. Hmm, I'm a bit laggy. Still playable, though. That's good. 
There we are. Okay, I've got a uh, Yes, please. Would you like a pickaxe as well? Can you make Have two much. swords? I can do that in a second. I've got a crafting table in here. Dun, 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 Okay, so there's a pickaxe for you. Oh, thank you. And a shovel for you. Would you like a um? I keep hitting I instead of E. Okay, axe? so yeah, I might as well make an axe. Oh yes, if you're going to make an axe. Uh, so uh, one of the things uh, that not just changed first up is um, the F key no longer toggles view distance. Uh, to Yay. do that, you have to do that through options. Uh, so in the options, is we've your, got um, our usual uh, music level, and which I your might stick axe. that way off. And your um, axe. Thank you very much. Excellent. And my axe. Uh, uh, sound level. Uh, mouse sensitivity is there as usual. Uh, the difficulty thing, I'm not sure that's going to change much in server multiplayer. Um, since the difficulty is server side. Uh, mouse inversion. Field of view, Come so here, if I fiddle with that, I can take it all the way up to Quake Pro field of view, and it looks like you're looking through a um, fisheye lens. Is that really what it does? Hang on, seriously right. freaky. Video settings. Uh, yeah, it. Uh, so obviously fiddling around with that might be a good idea uh, for people maybe on. Um, PvP servers, so I'll stick mine back to normal. Uh, and then in the video settings, you've got the fancy, and then the render distance is here, so you have to go into your video settings to change that now. Uh, yeah. So no more spamming the F key to see through the world to find where um, mobs are. Uh, you can still use F3 for that, as far as I know. You've got smooth lighting, the performance, view bobbing, uh, oh, I've got and the points. 3D, which I oh, that's cool. sort of got, got working. Points already. Oh, and then uh, there's also the brightness thing, which I'll show off uh, when it gets dark as well. So, uh, on the bar at the bottom, uh, you've got um, your experience point meter. Uh, Slaughter! Pick or something to, uh, to fill that up with. Yeah, piggy piggy. Die, pig! Give me your experience points. Right, so there you go, you can see now that I've filled up uh, one of the smidging experience point bars. As always. Smidgen, of course, being a technical term. Oh, found another pig. Um, I'm here, piggy. Oh, and I've got... Um, Just disappeared off the face of the earth. I've got uh, the port, crafting table in a which stacks now. Yes, as you can see from, from my screen, uh, pork now stacks. Uh, there's also... Nom 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 uh, nom 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 there, so... Uh, I'm just... Ah, there you go. There's the, uh... Right click. How did you... How did you eat? I can't eat. It's, uh, yeah, no, it's the... the um, damage, sort of the food bar? Is your food bar full? Then you don't yeah. need to eat. It I took damage a little... I took damage a little while ago, Excellent. and, That's uh... That's really useful, because before now... Before now, I've had a, a pork chop in my hand, and I've tried to right-click a crafting bench or something, missed slightly, and eaten Now, that was annoying, chop, actually. That was, was really, really health. bad. So that's really, That was really no useful. good. But yeah, so there's now an eating Let's my, uh, I'm lagging a bit, so I'm going to just sort out a few settings. Okey-dokes. So, um, what else can we see? Well, that's a little bit of that. Yeah, there we go. 